Okay, so today we're gonna pattern the world's smallest Christmas record. So what you see here is an image of the pattern we're gonna do, where basically we have some grooves, which are Christmas music recorded in stereo, where the wiggle of the groove you see here uh, is one channel, and the depth of the groove given by this grayscale color map is the other channel. Of course, this is our nice artistic inner part of the record. And here, this is uh, a color map which represents the height that we're carving this pattern into the surface. So the whole thing is about 15 by 15 micrometers, and the depth is about uh, 65 nanometers that we're going to pattern into the surface. And this Christmas record is so small that the entire thing we're patterning could actually fit within one single groove of a regular vinyl record. So now, let's tell this to go and start our patterning. And here we're using a thermal scanning probe. So basically this is a very hot tip, which is very sharp. And this tip presses into the surface and it carves out or sculpts the pattern we want into the surface. So you see our probe looks like this. We have this very sharp tip, which is going around and patterning the surface. Exactly, just like that. And so now we're telling the machine to go you see it starts its patterning and what's really cool is it has a feedback loop which allows it to measure the pattern as it's writing and to update its parameters so it's uh, improving any errors that it makes such that it's constantly getting more accurate in writing what we want and what you see here is this pattern slowly developing so basically we're scanning across the surface and we're writing one line and then we're reading the line as we come back so we can measure it and feedback on our error. Now we see the pattern starting to take shape. And what we see down here is the comparison between the target pattern and the pattern that we're actually making and measuring, where here, the red line, this represents the ideal, the target pattern. And here, these blue lines, they are the measured pattern that we're actually making with this probe. And if we look at the scale bar here, we see that the errors that we have are just uh, a few nanometers or even in the best case down to below sort of one single nanometer or two. So it's quite an accurate technique for patterning the surface. So while this project is of course a little bit of a Christmas fun, uh, it's a, also a very serious exercise and something that is important for our research. When we make these kind of grooves here with the nanometer precision, uh, we can transfer these to a number of other materials where uh, that will fundamentally allow us to manipulate uh, material properties on the nanoscale. For instance, if we are transferring this to a silicon dioxide like glass surface or uh, one of these um, uh, new materials uh, that are called two-dimensional materials that we do research in, one is called hexagonal or a nitride, that allows us to create a contoured substrate with an incredible control of the height, something that's very, very difficult to do with ordinary patterning techniques. When we then put another 2D materials on this sort of shaped surface, that kind of curvature that you get when the material is trying to follow the contours of the surface will induce new physical properties that uh, we, uh, we don't uh, know so much about yet, but uh, there are some amazing predictions about uh, how the electrical and optical and chemical properties they change when we do that. So when you have a two-dimensional material and you start to curve it into the third dimension, you're doing something that we have never really been able to do in uh, physics or material science uh, before now. And this tool is more or less the perfect way to do that. So that is something that uh, we can look forward to, exp to start exploring in uh, 2023. Another thing that we are also uh, will use this for is to ma make tiny uh, magnetic field sensors that uh, allows us to measure uh, the currents inside the brain. And through that, we are hoping in the long term to create some uh, affordable technology that allows us to uh, uh, answer questions pertaining to Parkinson's disease and Alzheimer's. So um, it's going to be some interesting years here with uh, this new tool and uh, maybe we will uh, get a chance to play our Christmas record here in a few days.